15 Things You Probably Didn't Know About Wonder Woman Gal Gadot was a part of reshoots for the movie, including stunts, while being five months pregnant, her baby bump was visible, so the crew created a costume which had a green screen around her belly, which was later removed during post-production. Director Patty Jenkins was originally in talks with Warner Brothers to direct this film back in 2005, but due to her unexpected pregnancy, she had to step down. Jenkins claimed that Wonder Woman is the film she has been wanting to do her whole life and that she was fortunate to come back to it. Steve's timepiece is a pocket watch, adapted with a leather case to be worn on the wrist. Pocket watches were the norm at the time, they were usually worn on a chain, but they proved to be impractical in frontline action. Soldiers began wearing timepieces on their wrists. This fashion spread to civilians after the war and adapted pocket watches into wristwatches, which became as the preferred fashion of timepieces in the 20th century. In this film, Wonder Woman's tiara is an heirloom from Antiope. In both the comics and television series, it can be used as a weapon. The scenes of Themyscira were shot in southern Italy, on the Amalfi Coast. Production designer Alain Bonetto said the location was perfect, Italy had beautiful weather, a beautiful blue-green sea, not too much tide, not too much wave. Gal Gadot trained for nine months to gain 17 pounds of pure muscle. Every design decision made for Themyscira came down to director Patty Jenkins and designer Lindy Hemming asking, how would women want to live that's badass? Hemming crafted a look to show off the Amazon's ripped shoulders and domed legs, emphasized by wrist braces and heeled sandals, because, Jenkins explained, as a woman, I want Wonder Woman to fight and look great at the same time. In my opinion, this means she has really long legs. In the comics, Steve Trevor and Diana met in the Second World War, 1939-1945. However, in the film, they meet in the First World War, 1914-1918. The change in World Wars was made because the filmmakers thought that era was more suitable. World War I was the first time that civilization as we know it was finding its roots, but it's not something that we really know the history of. In this world, there are questions about women's rights, about a mechanized war where you don't see who you are killing. It's such an interesting time. Diana's scenes in London are in homage to Superman, 1978, where Superman encounters urban life for the first time. The protagonist gets a disguise of a formal bespectacled attire, stops a mugging attack and has some trouble with a revolving door. This film is banned in Lebanon, because its star, Gal Gadot, is an Israeli citizen, and Lebanon is officially at war with Israel. Like the authorities in Tunisia and Qatar who banned the film, the official explanation for it being banned in Lebanon was that Gadot had expressed positive views of her country, and the IDF, along with negative views of the Palestinian terrorist group Hamas, implying that if Gadot was an anti-Zionist they would not have banned the movie at all. Yeah, this film features Diana Prince, the original Wonder Woman, and Artemis and Arana, who briefly held the title of Wonder Woman in the comics. The actresses who play them, Gal Gadot and Wolf and Mailing Lion, were all trained in martial arts. This is the first female dominant superhero film in 12 years since Elektra, 2005. The discussion in the boat about the pleasures of the flesh was improvised. In the comics, Wonder Woman got the alias Diana Prince during World War II from a U.S. Army nurse, who was very similar in appearance to her, and from whom she bought her credentials and name. In this movie, while she is posing as Steve Trevor's secretary, he interrupts her introduction of I am Diana, Princess of, and rechristens her as Prince. Diana. Princess of the Mystery. Prince. Diana Prince. The DC Films intro debuts in this movie and will appear at the beginning of the next DCEU movies from now on. It features characters who have already made will make their debut like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Cyborg, The Green Lanterns Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more videos.